On July 25, 2014, Louisiana National Guards Colonel Roy V. Qualls, Deputy Director of the Joint Staff, geared up for his final flight as an F-15 pilot. Throughout his career, he has served on numerous stateside missions. He was among the first F-15 fighter pilots to launch in response to the 9-11 attacks. In addition, he deployed to various locations around Asia, Europe, Australia, and North America to include multiple combat deployments. After flying uh, fighters for about 26 years, in a career where somewhere between 1 in 50 to 1 in 75 guys, uh, you know, doesn't make it through a career uh, alive, um, to have successfully th flown about 3,300 hours. I was a, a very arrogant fighter pilot one time. I'm a very, very humble colonel now that knows that none of this happens without the airmen. And to be able to be a part of that as my last flight uh, was a perfect way to go out for me. His wife, Amy, and his daughters, Jordan and Gabrielle, looked on as he climbed to the cockpit of an F-15 Eagle for the last time. They give me the, the strength to, to uh, you know, to go on and to, and to do this. And so to have them there, to have them here waiting for me was uh, just perfect. Big smiles on all the faces. The girls haven't seen me fly that much. And uh, so to have them here today was, was a big deal. Colonel Qualls expresses his gratitude for a successful career. I also want to say thank you for uh, giving me as many takeoffs as I had landings in the F-15. The, the airmen and the soldiers of Louisiana National Guard are here when they're needed. They're here for hurricanes, they're here for disasters, they're here for oil spills. When they're needed, they're here. And they can they go seamlessly from launching airplanes, generating jets, to opening pods up in, uh, you know, in, in, in hard-hit parishes during a hurricane. And, and that's a, that also is a tribute to them. Thanks for everything that uh, goes on behind the scenes to get these jets in the air. Okay.